Hello everyone, and welcome to my reaction stream to, uh, let me just hit that, to the Nintendo Direct for the Super Mario Brothers movie tra trailer uh, thingy. Um, so hopefully, um, just quick note, um, that this might get cut off at 3.05, I don't exactly know um, how I'm still getting used to how Restream works. Um, let me pop on over to... There we go. Um, I'm still getting used to how Restream works. And so, uh, apologies for the, uh, for, for the um, uh, split VOD for the Need for Speed Unbound reveal trailer. Um, again, apologies for that. Um, but anyways... Um, and, uh, you also might not have, um, you might not have, um, oh goodness, um, audio for the trailer. Um, so anyhow, um, so keep that in mind. I know Mac OS screen capture, um, uh, I don't know if they can do that, so we'll, we'll, we'll just have to play it by ear. Um, but yeah, um, so, okay, predictions. Let's transition over to that. Um, okay. Um, so it's an illumination thing. Um, we already see a pretty hyper-realistic glove and everything. This is the po uh, poster they shared, uh, I think, a couple days ago. Um, so I have high hopes that it's not just going to look like Minions stuff. Uh, and the density looks great. Um, now, what is the story? Uh, I think they're going to talk about that today. I feel like you can't introduce the... Um, can't introduce the Mushroom Kingdom without talking about the setup for what the Mushroom Kingdom is uh, uh, is so we'll see what happens there um, but it's very clear just based on this glove right here where it's sectioned off instead of just being one whole glove um, that they're going for a much more realistic look so um, and then it, it's, it's Mario alone but we know Peach is here um, because there's a little peach thing right there. Um, I don't actually know a whole lot about Mario other than um, the, the, these Toad guys. Um, I, I'm guessing that's Toadette. Uh, um, or Toad, sorry. Uh, toad. Um, and maybe it's just a... It's just a movie primarily about Mario and Peach. I, I'd, I'd actually much prefer that. Uh, to a story where it's like almost like a Guardians of the Galaxy kind of thing where it's an ensemble piece it's a yes it's a Super Mario Bros movie but I feel like Luigi is going to come in about halfway in so we'll see what happens um, the stream should be starting any second on Nintendo's side uh, but it's interesting to note um, that they said um, yeah, it doesn't look like Donkey Kong's anywhere in here, um, that I can see, um, but it, I do find it interesting to note, um, that it's just Mario in this photo, basically, and just a few other ancillary characters, so, okay, it is live, so, um, we will see, got an auto, just in case, close captions, turn annotations off um, and again you might or might not um, be able to hear the audio we'll, we'll have to figure that out but we will find out together and apologies if I, I didn't go back on the VOD but um, the recording looks fine oh here we go Ooh, that is loud Turn that down a little bit. Hello, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto, 
As we previously mentioned, in today's Nintendo Direct, we'll reveal the first trailer for the Super Mario Bros. animated movie for the very first time. Okay. This Nintendo Direct is also so being broadcast simultaneously at New York Comic Con. Hello, oh, yeah. New York I Comic Con! It's been nearly 40 years since the original Mario Brothers Gosh. game was released you in know, Japan. Only Mario Today, game lots of people around the world Odyssey. are playing Mario games. Thank you all so much. Finally, the world of Super Mario Brothers will become an animated movie. Hmm. We've been working on this movie together with Chris Melodandri from Illumination How many times for a long say time. Movie? From brainstorming and all the way through production. The time flew by as we were having fun figuring out how to depict the Super Mario characters and world. Now, I'd like to hear from Chris-san, my good friend and great partner for the movie. Let's bring him in. Chris-san. Thank you, Miyamoto-san. Oh, I am speaking on behalf of our directors, Michael Jelinek, Aaron Horvath, and the entire Illumination crew of artists when I tell you that producing the Super Mario Brothers movie with you and your team at Nintendo has been an absolute privilege. Our crew is filled with Mario fanatics, and they're bringing the very best of their talent to this film every day. Next week, we complete animation. We're knee-deep into lighting and compositing. Okay, so they're pretty Composer far Brian Tyler heads to the scoring stage in just 11 days. Oh, He's right. been working hand in hand with Koji Kondo to integrate classic themes from the game into oh, the wow. film score. Miyamoto-san, it's been over seven years since we first started talking about making this movie together. And it is seven thrilling years. to finally be here to show That's the very insane. first look at footage with Mario fans at Nintendo Direct and at New York Comic Con. Miyamoto-san, shall we go ahead and introduce some of our cast? Okay, Chris-san. Now, I'll introduce two of the stars from this movie. Both of them love Nintendo games and made this into a really fun movie. Oh, they're doing... Are you ready? Different versions of the voice cast. Uh, growing up, man, I spent hours of my life stomping Koopas in the original Mario Brothers arcade game at my local... Mm. Laundromat. And then, of course, it came out on Nintendo, and I played that, I mean, uh, maybe years of my life. This does uh, it's, not look good. It's an honor, truly, to, to be able to speak to the man who created those memories for me. And it's, it's an honor to work alongside him. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to become Mario. <laughs> um, I don't believe you. But all right. that, uh, that, that dream, like all dreams, faces one critical challenge, as in the film. I must face off against an utterly ruthless scene stealer. Every great hero needs a diabolical enemy. And what is up I with promise this you, lighting? I could not have been paired with the more perfect king of the Koopas, like... Bowser. Hmm. And my friend, the great and hilarious, supremely talented Mr. Jack Black. Like... Thank you, Chris, but I can't let you have all the fun. Now it's time for us to make this moment all about me. While you've been dreaming about playing Mario, I've been preparing. Look at all this Koopa muscle I packed on. <laughs> and this flowing mane doesn't just appear overnight. Do you have any idea how long it took me to learn how to breathe fire? I had to go learn it from Gene Simmons of KISS. And all this hard work's okay, been it worth it, though. I am so proud to have been able to collaborate with you and Miyamoto-san as well as the entire Nintendo like and Black Illumination and, um, team on this cinematic Charlie experience. One that will part. make its mark on Mario fandom forever. Much love. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you, Chris-san, Jack-san. All right Joy then. Thank you all for waiting. Let's press the start button. Looks 
really off. I wonder if they didn't have time to type it out. <laughs> Open the gates! Dang. <laughs> okay, this is kind of great. That is but a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. I want to thank all of you for being okay. part of this moment with us. Optical and we're excited and to share to even more footage in the coming months. I'm looking forward to it too. Because something what do you think will happen during Mario's adventure in the Mushroom Mario's Kingdom? Design. It looks kind of like the, of the movie uh, plumber guy well. from Currently, uh, like with any Wreck Nintendo Ralph. game, we're working on the finishing Fix touches. Like that's I, I hope know. you're looking forward to the next trailer. It'll be a great experience watching the Super Mario Brothers but movie in movie theaters. Black. It looks you'll fine. get to see the Mushroom Kingdom on the big screen. Look closely and you'll spot things in all sorts of places. This film can be enjoyed by people of all ages, so I hope you'll get to a movie theater and cheer for Mario. That's all for today. We'll see you next spring in movie theaters. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. Oh, and that's it. Okay, that's the Nintendo Direct. Um, so nothing really there. I thought they were gonna kind of set up the um, uh, what's going on in the movie, but I guess not. So let me go back. For waiting, let's press the start button. Okay. So the Ice Kingdom. This is the part, maybe I can get, yeah, that just does not look right. The eyes here look too human-like. Um, let's, let's compare, um, let's compare Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey, all right. So. Let's just grab that image. Come on. So yeah, he's got the elongated eyes. But here... Okay, I don't need chat. I do not need to, to chat. Um, anyhow, you've got these elongated eyes, right? And you've got these little tufts of hair, which, you know, it wasn't the best thing. Um, and then... You, Everything about him is kind of bubbly. Um, but here, it just... The wrinkles are too real. Like, right here. Let's go in here. The, these wrinkles look off. Um, just... It, it looks too real, I think, is the problem. Because you can see, like, the individual tufts of hair. And the, the um, eye line. Uh, it's just weird. It just doesn't ring true. But let's look 
at Mario or Luigi. Yeah, see, even Luigi looks off, but his, I don't know, it just, it just looks off. All of it just looks off. I can't explain it to you in a way that makes sense, but it's just off. Because, I mean, look at that. Just have that in your brain. And then look at that. I... Huh. Yeah, just... I don't know. Yeah, hmm. So I'm going to look look at the shape of his head. It's like a slant down and then you get the U shape. Okay, so. But here, there's a less exaggerated slant. Maybe let's look at him from, well, I guess that's not. Okay, so this is a kind of a side profile. But even then, it's kind of much more like a gradual slope. Whereas here... I mean, I guess it's the same gradual. I think it just looks really off with the gloss. The gloss he has in his eye right there. That just doesn't look right. I, I don't think it's bordering on Uncanny Valley. Um, and then just like straight hairs. I don't... Yeah. Like here he looks clean. But here... And like the messiest stuff is like at the front and maybe at the back, which I guess we don't see here. But yeah, this just doesn't. And the teeth, yeah, the segmented look is not good. And the wrinkles, I mean, does he even have wrinkles in the games? Um, and again, I'm just looking at Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I mean, he has the wrinkles. But I think it's just the shades that really, um, I think it's just the shades that really just do not um, work for me. It's the shade of the red, it just doesn't look right. Um, and the white, it just, it, it looks like, let me see, Mario RTX. Um, there is like somebody who did, yeah, like there's the meme of Mario RTX. Um, yeah, he, he, here you go. Here's like someone who looks at like what it would act, what Mario would actually look like, and it's just. I think a realistic Mario is not the way to go, because, and for anyone like. Tell me that this guy, that this guy does not look like Mario. I mean, I mean, I get that that's a joke in in the movies, but still. Um, but I, but even, but now I look at Fe Fix It Felix, and I'm just like, uh, um, even he, he looks off. But anyhow. Um, that's my, hey Dave, um, I'm just talking about how wrong Mario looks, it just, it just reminds me too much of Fix It Felix, um, it, it, it just doesn't look right, the proportions just don't look right, hmm, it just looks wrong, it, it is my thing, it's just like the individual tufts of hair, the nose, um, yeah, like, the nose is much more exaggerated in Mario Odyssey, but here it's just kind of like, it's, everything is too perfect here, the proportions are too perfect to where it, I mean, it's not, um, yeah, Dave, um, had seen nothing from this movie before, um, yeah, this is the first look at the actual movie, um, but that said, this Mario is, it, you know, it, 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 it's fine, you know, we get a look at, 
Um, oh goodness. Like some dry bones? Like... Like a dry bones? I, f I forget what kingdom this is. But yeah, even he looks off. I think I think it's the fact that I don't know they they just look too much like real people. But if I go back um, to the Bowser stuff, I mean, I wonder why I wonder why this stuff I wonder why this stuff looks great. Like, let me go to the actual yeah. Like, look at that. That looks great. Um, because that's how you imagine the Coopers, um, yeah, he, he reminds me of a compromise between Mario Odyssey and the design in the 1989 cartoon. Okay, let's look at the 1989 cartoon Mario. Um, is this kind of what you're look, what you're talking about, Dave? Yeah, I, I could see it, but even then, like... Peach kind of looks um, like she just like they ripped the asset from the game um, from oh, Mario Galaxy I think um, but yeah I just but like the uh, Master Koopa I think his name is um, he looks great I mean this the Koopa stuff looks great I mean look at that that looks like how you expect Bowser to look um, let me do that full screen. I, that just looks nice. I don't... And maybe it's because... I mean, the eyes look a little weird. Um, but other than that, like, it looks like Bowser hasn't gotten any sleep. Um, but I mean, I get it. But, but like, you compare this design, and it just looks like Bowser, you know? But then you just, like, go look at Mario, and it's just like, that doesn't look like Mario, like, all this detail, I think maybe, yeah, I, I love the look of the Koopas, uh, let's go back to that, yeah, I mean, look at that, I mean, that looks great, it just, everything else, that's not, I mean, like, look at the, the backlighting on Bowser here, that looks great. The animation looks great. And maybe it's something that maybe, um, let's go to the Mario uh, section. Yeah, there we go. Like, maybe it's just the lighting is too realistic to even, <sighs> yeah, it, it, it just looks off. But otherwise, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what they've got going on because the Bowser stuff looks interesting. Um, I mean, I mean I can read that. I mean that looks great. That is but a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. Yeah, like this looks great. I finally found it. And like, l look at the detail. Let me turn closed captions off. Let me look at. Like, yeah, like that star looks great. Um, yeah, the penguins. Yeah, these look great. I. And I think these are from a recent game, uh, like, um, oh gosh, I think, um, I think they're from the Bowser's Fury stuff, so they might be pulling a bit any of, from of that. You don't, Dave doesn't like any of the voices. Well, I, you know, I, I like, I like the Jack Black one. It, it seems cool. Open the gates! Like, it just... <laughs> Open the gates! Like, it's not... He's not trying to do any... Um... 
It's not, he's not over the top with it. Yeah, like I'd watch this. That is but a taste of our fury. Do the penguins look a good bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> I do not. I forgot about Mario 64. That might be what it is trying to do. But yeah, like let's go back a little bit. Um. Like, look at that. That. Animation looks great. Like, oh my goodness. Just the way everything crumbles looks great. So, I finally found it. And also, I, I just have a lot of questions. I think it's the main thing. So we'll see what happens. Now who's gonna stop me? I mean, this trailer could have been worse. Oh, yeah, look, like, look at that. Let me... Let, let me... Playback speed... 0.25. Let's look at that, because... Yeah, I don't like... That. At all. Yeah, that cushiness. I don't like any of that. Yeah, that's too bouncy. Like, maybe they're trying to do... Yeah, that's just too bouncy for, for me. Huh. And, like, look at that mushroom. That looks too... I feel like Mario's charm is kind of the lack of detail. Um, like even in Mario Odyssey, which is I think in 1080, 1080p, um, like the first Mario game in 1080p, um, I feel like they intentionally was like, hey, yeah, he's got a lot of detail, small details, but like there's not detail like this. And I think that's almost the problem with doing something that's supposed to be looking like this. Um, Alright, Dave, what'd you say? Adult penguins in Mario 64 are a lot closer to Bowser's size. So let's look, look at that. Um, okay. Yeah, they're quite a bit smaller. And maybe that's the joke. Because it's like... Because like that ice cube takes out Puka or something like that. So that is but a taste of our fury. I do <laughs> Mario sounds like a regular guy, yeah. It's interesting that they're not choosing not to Oh, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, Dave. Um, yeah, that's no bueno for me. Um, like, they're not even trying to be jovial Mario. Uh, I'd be, okay, Dave says, I'm fine with detail. I know they have to put a lot in there to justify movie-type rendering as opposed to real-time rendering. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> That's kind of the battle, is like, I would love it to be more stylized than this. I don't see, I think that's m my point, is it just feels like it has no style. It's just trying to be realistic. Like, I don't want to see the underside of this mushroom here. I, no. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Is that Kika Michael Key? Oh, there's a bit of Mario in there. But, like, not much. Oh, 
Let me... What was that? Four castles. Okay, so Chris Pratt, that's playing Mario. Anya Taylor-Joy's Peach. Charlie Day is Luigi. Jack Black's Bowser. I think Keegan-Michael T is T Toad? Um, oh gosh, who's Seth Rogen? I think, I said, I think Seth Rogen. Well, let's go to IMDb. The Super Mario Bros. movie. Okay. He's Donkey Kong. Okay, Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong. Okay, then who's Fred Armisen? Fred Armisen. Da, 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 da. Cranky Kong. Okay. Um, then Sebastian Foreman Spike. Okay. Um, Kamek was the the magical guy. Okay. Um, Charles Martinet, so that's a Mario voice. I'm... Do they... Do, there's nothing... No role he's playing? Okay. Hmm. Kevin Michael Richardson. Who is that? Oh, he... Oh, he's the one playing Kamek. <laughs> I, I love these suggestions. Is the Super Mario movie real? <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my goodness. But anyways, that's gonna be uh, my reactions to the Super Mario Brothers trailer. Um, we'll see if it's anything any good. Um, uh, uh, when does this come out? When, when does this come out? Um, April 7th, 2023. Okay. Um, what, what are people saying in the comments? Are people saying anything in the comments? I guess um, chat would be okay. Chat disable. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that's gonna do it for my reaction. Um, I'll see you next time. Um, yeah. Whenever. Oh, Dave has something more to say. I like Toad's voice. Okay. Let me transition. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Toad's voice is. A, a little bit better because he's actually trying to do something. Uh, Charles, he never liked Charles Martinet's Mario voice in the games, but I was hoping for something a little bit more cartoony. Yeah, I think that's the hope because when I look at, um, let's see, when I look at th this, I don't. <laughs> that's a that's a screen cap. Um, but it doesn't look cartoony to me, um, at all. It just looks realistic. I, I guess, like, yeah, I, I, I would have preferred something like, you know, Super Mario Bros. movie concept. Well, oh, that's a, that, that, that's an '80s movie, but anyways, um, yeah, I was, I was basically kind of expecting something a little bo bit more similar to the games, and it seems like it's not, or at least like something, like Mario Odyssey, is kind of what I was thinking, is it look like Mario Odyssey, um, but I guess not, um, or even, like, if you have to go. Um, a console gen generation behind, you have to, um, even Mario Galaxy would look good as a movie. Um, so we'll see what, uh, they have, Nintendo has in store for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Um, by the way, perfect title, although SEO, if I just type in, like, Super Mario Brothers movie, I get the 1980s movie, so, like, I shouldn't see this, um, I, I, I shouldn't see any of that. But anyhow, um, so um, that's my stream. Um, I'll have the VOD up later today. Um, until next time.